new formula, new container. It supplies new ultra lather shaving cream. We're going to build a lather with it and we're going to have a shave coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and watch haters everywhere. It's SparkerGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. Love getting together and talking all things traditional wet shave with you. If this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. We have a brand new shave cream in the shave den. Here it is right now from Supply. Right here, this is their brand new formula of their Ultra Lather Shave Cream. I happen to have the citrus and basil scent. Boy, this is a nice, fresh, vibrant scent with a nice little bit of an organic base note in the background. Really very, very nice. I like this a lot. Very lively, very fresh, and also has that earthiness to it. Just a little bit of earthiness to it. So really very, very nice. We also happen to have the uh, Supply uh, Healing Post Shave Balm in the citrus and basil scent as well. We're going to be wrapping up our shave with that for sure. The folks at Supply very, very kindly sent me this. They also sent me some other shave soaps that we will be reviewing, so my thanks to them as well. Really do appreciate that. So, we're going to be building a lather with this and having a shave. We're going to be using my Supply SE Single Edge Injector Razor, of course, with the Nick Stop technology right there. Looking forward to having a shave with this. I got a brand new blade that has been installed via their injector system. Boy, it was so easy. You just take this, this case and this key and you just insert it and then slide this and then the blades injected and you got a brand new blade. The old one gets kicked out. You can put that into the case right here in that slot right there and uh, then, you know, go to the recycling center with it and have those blades recycled. So that works out really, really well. And again, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful alignment uh, of the blade. Uh, the injection system is just wonderful. So we're going to be using the SE razor for the shave. We're going to be using my supply shaving bowl to build a lather. I've got some hot water sitting in right now. We're going to wrap up with an Allen block from Phoenix Shaving, no slip grip, dry dock system. And that's really got it. That's about that. That's about all it's got. Oh yeah, wait a minute. I'm going to use my uh, Jekyll and Karen, Karenvio shave brush. That's soaking in the water right now. Uh, that was recommended by viewer Bob Leroy. It retails on Amazon for about twelve bucks, twenty-four millimeter synthetic nut. So that's what we're we're going to use in the way of a shaving brush. So you know what? Let's take this hot water right here that's in the marble shaving bowl from Supply Boy. It's a beautiful, beautiful shaving bowl. I've had some hot water in there, so it's really nice and warm. It retains heat really, really well. So we should get a nice warm lather uh, from this whole process of building a lather in this marble shaving bowl from Supply. So let's just dump that in there. Let's wet the face. Let's get to the shave. All right, so let me just get a little dollop of uh, shaving cream right here, about that much right there. That might even be a little too much, but I always like to go a little bit more. I got a little bit of water left in there. I always like to go just, just have a little extra whenever I'm on camera. Okay, so there it is in the bowl like that, and it does retain the heat. I'm gonna take this brush here and give it a nice ring and a little bit of a shake. A little bit of another shake because I can always add water. And here we go with building a lather with the Ultra Lather Shave Cream from Supply. Okay, let me just put a little bit of water in there. Get a little more water. Oh, I'm going to need a little more water. Really get this going. Yep, I need a little more water. It's always uh, 
always a challenge when you're going from soap to cream, cream to soap, trying to figure out the correct ratio of water to cream or water to soap. But as I say, I like to start with a little bit more of a drier brush and work my way up to the lather by adding water than the other way around, having too much water and not enough cream or not enough soap. So there we are right there. It's getting, it's getting there. It's definitely getting there. I'm going to add a little more, a little more water here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. You can see it's starting to build here, starting to build around the rim, around the edges there. Here we go. Just a little more. Okay, I'm going to hold it down here, folks, just so I can see it, because when I tilt it on edge like that for you to see on the camera, it gets a little more difficult to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh yeah, here we go. Now you'll see what I'm talking about here. I'm letting the brush splay out a little bit. I'm really letting the brush take over the process. Look, look, you can see already it's just really, <laughs> really, you know, I should really use two cameras and have a second camera so it can be, so it can film me from above looking down on this because this is really starting, my gosh, this is starting to overflow. I mean, this is really, and I can add, believe it or not, I can add a little more water to this without any trouble. And it is, I'm getting heaps and heaps of heaps of lather. Look at this. I'm getting so much. Look, can you see this? Look at this. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Boom! Lather, huh? <laughs> there is so much lather here. My gosh, it's overflowing. It is, my, my goodness, wow. It's overflowing. It's under the bowl as well. There is a lot of lather here. Okay, okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to set this down. I'm going to put the brush in there. I'm going to wet the face one more time. All right, now we're just going to paint this on. Oh, it's that nice. Wow. There is a lot there. No pre-shave, we're just going to let this lather do all the work. And look how, look how much lather I have in the bowl. See that? In the bowl. I have more than enough for three passes if necessary. My gosh, I got so much. I'm just scraping it out of the brush here and then putting it on there and just letting it reapply. And again, I'm just painting it on. What a nice, thick, creamy, yogurty carpet of lather. Okay, okay, I think that's good. That's more than enough. I have one day's worth of beard growth, by the way. And the lather was nice and warm from the, uh, from the bowl. And let me just get my mirror here. <laughs> I'm telling you this. It just explodes from the bowl. Wow. Okay, we're going to heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water. We're already set to go. Love this. Love this razor. I mean, you just inject the blade and you just leave it there. You have your five or six shaves. Just make sure you give it a, a nice drawing. Just a nice, just, you know, rinse it out. When you're done, just rinse it out. Give it some shakes. Maybe just, you know, just maybe just uh, dab it with a towel, a dry towel. And then just put it on the stand and it's ready for your next shave. All right. Hot, 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 hot water. Okay, here we go. All right. All you have to do is get that supply logo right there that's carved into the razor head and place that against your skin and just use a light touch and that's the angle. It's about 15 degrees, which is why we say 15 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen.
That is so nice and smooth. My gosh, is that smooth. Boy, that's, that's really nice. Nice. Nice protection, nice glide. Oh, that's marvelous. Love this next step. Love the next stop technology. <laughs> really, really works. Okay. Now, right up here. All right. Very good. All right. First pass done. Let's rinse. Nice first pass. I'm right there in socially acceptable territory. We're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, paint on some more lather for pass number two. Look at that. Pass number two is usually my money pass. That's when I'll know if the shave is done or if I need a touch up or a third pass, that sort of thing. But with one day's worth of beard growth and the, the wonderful line and protection of the shave cream and yes, razor, I'm thinking the shave is going to be two passes. Now I'll tell you about my upper lip right over here. I have a right here. I have a little bit of a blemish, very very small. So I'm being careful there. But the next stop technology is really gliding over that, along with this cream's protection, is taking care of that. In other words, it's not aggravating. It's it's small. You don't see it, but you know, it's enough to get in the way with say a cheaper soap or a bargain razor. But with the SC and this shaving cream, so far so good. Here's pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Boy, that is so smooth. That is so very, very smooth. Boy, that's nice. That is really nice. No tugging or pulling, and there's some really, really nice residual, residual slickness there to where I can kind of go over an area. Really nice and slick. That's, that's terrific. Okay, right here. And we're going to go No problem whatsoever. Wow. All right. Second pass done. Let's rinse.
The shave is done. The shave is absolutely done. What a wonderful, wonderful shave. Absolutely beautiful. You know what? I could probably do, in just feeling this around, this is probably going to retract here. But I am going to do just a little bit of touch-up. It'll probably retract. But let's just do a little bit of touch-up right here and here. Like that. You know what? Let's just, let's just put that in there like that. And then let's just show you that we have we'll do a third pass here we'll do a nice light third pass even though it's done I want to do a touch up along the jawline here and here again it's one of those things where I think it probably will retract after the uh, the shave is done and throws off the excess moisture and that sort of thing those Whiskers will retract a little bit, but you know what? Let's, let's just go ahead and let's do it. Let's just do this. And then that way you get to see how much lather is there. I love doing this, by the way. This is pass number three. We're going south and north against the grain. <laughs> I'm so excited to do this. Forgot to announce it. Wonderful. Again, got that great residual slickness, allowing me to do a little bit of a little bit of buffing here and there. All right, third pass done. Let's rinse. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice shave. Beautiful shave. Wonderful. Wonderful. We're gonna do by two final rinses. One warm. One cold. Okay, here we go. Here's my warm water rinse. All right, we're gonna flip it to the cold water side. This has been a nice, nice shave. Boy, what a nice, nice post shave feel. All right, just waiting for the water to get cold so I can do my cold water, my cold water shave, my cold water rinse. Okay, cold water rinse. Oh yeah, okay. Clean fresh towel waiting for me right here. thing I was really concerned about was this little bit of a blemish or some something there and it just skipped right over it it did not aggravate it didn't open it up didn't nick me that is the beauty of mixed up technology and the beauty of this shaving cream now here's what I didn't tell you in the beginning and I'll show you I tell you what I'll show you after the Allen block okay that's a nice shave. <laughs> All right, we're going to take the Allen block, no slip grip, dry dock system. We're going to run this under some cold water and see what kind of zinging and stinging we get. All right, see what kind of feedback. All right, here we go. Well, there's no stinging. But I get, I'm getting a few zings here and there, which tells me I got a nice close shave. Yeah. And again, right here, okay, I don't know if you can see that, but I can feel it. 
skipped right over it, didn't aggravate it at all. Really, really nice. Okay, there it goes like that. I got some nice bracing going on from that. Now, here's what I didn't tell you. All right, well, I kind of hinted at it, okay? Here is the, uh, if I just, you know, right here a little bit more like this, you'll see. Okay, this is what I didn't tell you. Okay, here we go with this. Look at that. Okay, look at that. Ooh, just a little bit left for like a nice touch up. Okay, see that, huh? Let me get that around again like that. There you go. How about that, huh? Oh, look at that. Nice, 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 nice. And I have enough here probably for a touch up, maybe even a fourth pass. Yeah, I got enough for a fourth pass. Look at that. Okay, because I got a little more of the bowl here. Here's what here's my point. It's a twelve dollar synthetic shaving brush. All right, that's what I wanted to show you on how well this shaving cream works with just a bargain synthetic shaving brush. This is twelve bucks. That's all this is, and I got all this wonderful lather from a nice sized dollop or a good a a, a nice sized dollop. I would say a good average sized dollop of shave cream. And again, check that out. Isn't that great? That's, that's absolutely marvelous. And again, the trick is making sure you get enough, uh, you get the ratio correct. The ratio of water to cream, water to soap. And, and again, sometimes I have to change, I have to shift gears to try to figure out what that is on the fly. This was very easy to do and I probably I started off with a little bit of water and had to add water as I went to really have that ladder explode. And you saw how it exploded. Um, I'd rather have that happen, as I explained, than the other way around where you have too much water and too little cream. So uh, if I'm trying to figure it out and I haven't used the cream or the soap in a while, I try to start with a brush that's a little bit drier it's damp but it's not overly damp and then i add water as i go and this was this was marvelous this was absolutely marvelous all right uh here we are with the supply uh citrus and basil healing post shave right here and it's a pump bottle and i don't know how much i'm going to use here so i'm going to go with oh look at this oh wow it's a spray it's a spray wow that's nice I like that. I like that a lot. So I'm just going to, that is nice. You can just kind of put that in your hand and just control how much you're going to use. That is a nice touch. Boy, that is a really, it's going to love the scent. Same great scent as the soap. It even, it even has a little more refinement than the, than the soap, the cream has a little more refinement. Boy, that's good. <laughs> I like that. That's... My gosh, you don't need anything else. This is kind of like all in one. It has that great moisturizing quality to it. It's got the great scent. It has the pump applicator, which sprays it into your hand so you can control the exact amount you want to use. That is really, that's really, really nice. I like that a lot. That's terrific. Wow. Well, all I can say is great shave. Wow, that was marvelous. The Supply Ultra Lather Shaving Cream. Uh, from Supply. Uh, this was Citrus and Basil. They have other scents available. We will be, re we will be reviewing other scents. And uh, it's just absolutely marvelous. I like this a lot. Supply. I like the container. It's a good size. Looks like it will travel very well. As opposed to their uh, older container right here, which was a glass jar. And of course, that's not going to travel too well. But this plastic jar... It's a more agreeable size for your dop kit. It's plastic, so, you know, it's not going to crack open or anything like that. This is still nice. I'm going to hang on to this jar for nostalgic purposes. I like it a lot. But, uh, yeah, this is definitely the way to go. This is really such a nice design in the container. And you have plenty of shaving cream there. 
in which to build your ladder. And it will get easier as you use this uh, on a daily basis. You'll, uh, you'll understand uh, the water to cream ratio a little bit uh, a little bit more with each shave. You'll know how much to use and how much water to use. And you'll know uh, how much to have for a two-pass shave, a three-pass shave, two passes and a touch-up, that sort of thing. I had plenty. I absolutely had plenty for uh, three passes. And the third pass was nice and light. And the thing is, is there, the, the, this cream, boy, this, this is BBS. This is absolutely BBS. And the cream uh, really gave a lot of nice protection, but there was also some great, great residual slickness there that I really, really enjoyed. So it allowed me to do some buffing and, that's, and that sort of thing. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. But more importantly, whatever little blemish over here that I have in front of my, on my upper lip, Nick Stop technology came through and the shaving cream came through and did not aggravate it, didn't open it up, didn't nick it, nothing. That is absolutely fantastic. Uh, you know what? This cream, <laughs> this razor gave me an absolutely fabulous, fabulous BBS shave. Love, love, love the Supply SC Single Edge Injector Razor and the Supply Ultra Lather Shaving Cream is just a great companion to this razor. Love them both. And I'm telling you, this is great. The Supply Healing Post Shave. Uh, heal Shaver. Now, I called it balm. I, it's not It's just a healing post shave. I thought it was a balm. But it's, it's more of a splash. But you apply it. Uh, it mists into your hand. And, uh, man, you can control the amount that you want to use, and it is terrific. It says here, heals shaving burn, soothes and tone skin, skin first formula, uh, citrus and basil. Uh, this is terrific. This really, really is. I like this a lot. Get them both, the Supply Ultra Lather Shaving Cream. If you get the shaving cream, make sure you get the uh, Healing Post Shave. Uh, you know what? <laughs> That's absolutely fantastic. I thought it was a balm. It's not. It's a nice splash that will spray into your hand and you can apply You can apply it as you wish. Absolutely fantastic. Try the shaving cream. Try the post, uh, post the healing post shave and absolutely get an SD. This is a wonderful, one of my favorite razors to use. And it's also my go-to razor for head shave. That's how much I like this razor. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the great artisan soap makers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen. They offer some great artisan shave soaps and also offer some wonderful, wonderful wet shaving gear for your traditional wet shave. So when you get a chance, please pay them a visit. I certainly would appreciate it. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Rating, where you'll find all the products I review in this channel, organized and categorized, so you can find everything in the snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.